Hey, what's going on? It's uh, Lewis 300. And I'm here to introduce you guys to the new Sidecane touchscreen Apple CarPlay capable Android head unit for our cars. Now, I got Sidecane's 10 inch option. They also have an 11 inch option, but here it is inside the car installed and flushly mounted. It looks wonderful. It adds so much class to the car. It adds just a new look, a touch of 2020 into 2004 vehicle. I've had an IS300 for almost three years. I got this doubled in maybe three months into owning the car. I got this doubled in. It's been great. Don't get me wrong. It's been an amazing little radio. You can get many of these for many different prices. I cheaped out. I went on Amazon. I got me a nice little $80 touchscreen. It's worked for three years, no problems. Cool. Everybody has this in their car. The climate control is cool, but there's not really much that you can do to our climate control. Custom wise, to have your own taste, there's not really much that you can do to have climate control. Here I am giving a quick demonstration of what the radio looks like when you power it on. It starts off on this screen. From here, you can jump to Apple CarPlay and YouTube and whatever else you wanna be on. But the climate control is also accessible through the touchscreen. Here I am going to it. And this is what it looks like. Here I'm cycling through various fan speeds. I'm cycling through various modes. All of the OEM features that were on the knobs are now transferred onto the touchscreen, as well as some physical buttons under the touchscreen. So it's just, it's a, it's a touch of class to the car in my opinion. The fact that most modern cars 2015 and above have this as an option, touchscreen climate control. Now we have it. My hazards work. Everything is just flush, amazing. Now we can go back and you access Apple CarPlay through this app called Z-Link. It's pretty smooth. It doesn't take too long to load up, but you can't expect perfection with these third-party products, you know? So this is what it does. It goes around the Apple logo maybe three times and then there we go, Apple CarPlay. Now with all the benefits of the radio being stated, the new look, the sleekness, the Apple CarPlay, which is super comfortable. It also comes with its, with its cons. It, it also comes with its negatives. Let's be honest, it's a Chinese radio. It's not the official Apple CarPlay. It's some third party Apple CarPlay. It just happens to work. Whatever it is, it just works. Now, going off of that, Sycane is a very reputable company for selling these aftermarket, very technologically advanced radios. Or not technologically advanced, but give the feeling of modernization. They, they're very well known for selling these radios. They put them in old Honda Civics. They put them in old Honda CRVs. They put them in fucking old Nissan Muranos, Nissan Altimas. You'll see them with a damn Tesla screen. However, this radio was just made for the IS300. Or as far as I've been concerned or new, just made for the IS300. I was looking for one of these in I want to say June, and I was told about this one in mid-July. Actually, mid-August. This radio comes with no installation instructions at all. It's literally just a box. Most of it is kind of plug and play, but it's legit just a box. A box with a radio in it, no installation. They explain to you what each pin is on the connectors on the back on the wire harness, but it's pretty much you got to be somewhat mechanically inclined to know what you're doing the harness does go into the oem factory harness for the for the radio if you don't have your amp the same way i had the double din radio i had to remove my amplifier my stock amplifier if you don't have your amp you're gonna have to wire the radio to the speakers so if you're mechanically inclined you can get by it as a breeze now it's not only that I know of one other person that has this radio. Shout out to Travis. He was such a big help in installing this radio. But we're, we're one for two on these radio installs. I have this one. Travis has another one. He actually helped me install mine because mine had an issue for a while that the none of the HVAC controls were working. 
it comes with ribbon connectors that I happen to have on backwards. Travis explained that to me. Once I got it settled, everything works perfectly. Travis is going through the same issue where his radio is wired exactly like mine. Everything is installed exactly the same and he has no HVAC controls. Due to that, I don't wanna say just go out and buy the radio. I don't wanna just promote the radio as the best IS300 radio. Some of them may be faulty. Some of them may be, you know, it's a Chinese product. So buy at your own risk, but it's like you might get a dud. I, you can't blame me for that. I'm just informing you of the product that came for me and that really worked for me. So thank you everybody for tuning in. I appreciate it. I'm sorry I made a couple of people wait for this video. I will be dropping an install video of the radio way quicker than I dropped this. I had a lot to do, I'm sorry. But yeah, first video, new radio for the IS300.